Okay, it's day before prologue, uh, and I just finished. Finished now. Try and get this sun out out the shop. So I've just finished all the completed the rest of the administration. Um, we have a, a book on this kind of book, and you have to go through all different stages and get a stamp for helmet check, airbag or air vest bike scrutineering safety all the gps systems the camera that i have on the bike has to get signed off and stamped uh loads of stuff but it it seems a lot but it actually works and is uh the organization here is really really good so um yeah it makes life a little bit easier and some of this stuff i did in france before we came over but um just completed ev everything now I, that is it i'm technically i'm ready to go i've just got to sort a few a few bits out on the bike uh i want to just check my suspension uh as to where it is set from what it should be a stock i've not even put a screwdriver on it or, or click clicker or anything so just so i at least start the rally um with it somewhere hopefully where it should be um other than that it's just sorting kit out a few things but uh that's it we're ready now it's all it's pretty surreal you can see some pickup like race trucks there big truck here the the size of this place is like I, you have to see it to believe it it's so big the paddock or bivouac is is uh, I, I mean i i haven't even been around it yet but i can just see the depth the, the distance of how far back the flags and paddock go it uh being in the Malay class, they put you in a good spot near all the main things, so it sort of saves a bit of walking. But um, yeah, it's overwhelming actually. Hard to, you know, I could. You have to see it to believe it. Anyway, that's that's it. I'm done now. I'm going to uh, check out and chill out a bit, I guess, the rest of the day. I had my last good sleep last night um, in the tent, and I say last good sleep, like a full sleep i sort of got up at like 20 past eight so that won't be happening for a while um that's it the sea is literally just here behind this truck i don't know if you can see but uh I may go down and have a little swim later i've got time anyway i'm checking out i'm gonna go and get things done uh that's it for, for day three in the bivouac it is the night night before to, uh, the beginning really tomorrow's only the prologue which is a short 13 kilometer stage uh, which is taped out we walked well, I walked a, a chunk of it today and um, it's, it's, I don't even know if they've given us a road book but it's um, a bit like an enduro special test to be honest it's quite just a flat out sprint but um, still can be easy to make a mistake and cost you a lot of time but that does count towards the final time of the rally but um, really just dictates the starting order for stage one uh, on Sunday the 1st of January so um, yeah I mean there'll be a lot of people busting balls and hunting but uh, I'm just gonna try and you know I don't want to get too giddy and um, I'm confident I could do a fairly good time in that but uh, I don't know you know it's, then you start the rally uh, further up the ranks and then maybe out my depth a little bit with uh, trying to navigate with the road book and stuff at a pace I might not be happy with so it's a bit of a there's a few a few ways to look at it you could ride slower and then have more riders ahead of you to pick off in the first stage but um, I'm just gonna start as I mean to go on enjoy the, the route and then be done by like early, late morning and um, <clears throat> the day of day of sort of wrapping up really I'm going to change the oil on the bike and just a few checks before stage one but uh, also I'll show you my kit this is my tent and um, I've got to sort all this stuff here I don't know if you can see like I've got two two kit bags I'll turn this light up a bit so I've got that bag is gonna they take a bag away that goes in the truck until 
for the rest day and then this bag which at the moment has got a lot of riding gear on um, is this goes to each bivouac and I can access everything in there daily um, so I kind of got to be think about what I do and don't need for the next week um, and what I do need has to go in this bag what I don't need goes in that bag and I've done actually tonight I've just set these out so for each day stage one I've got food packs like ration packs to take with me when I ride each day and a few extras there for whatever but um, yeah it doesn't I can assure you it under all of that it was fairly fairly organized um, god that's bright but um, yeah that's us and then this is my I'll do an actual I'll do a better tent tour a later date when the daylight perhaps would be better but I just thought I'd do one last or well, the video a, a film a bit of a feature on um, the night before the beginning of the Dakar rally <laughs> weirdly don't feel that nervous just I just want to get on get stuck in and I think once the they start to uh, get into a few stages and see where we are. I'm not here at all to, to win or chase some crazy result. I just want to enjoy it as best I can and keep the bike going, wheels turning and get, uh, get to the finish. So let's see. So quite a big moment this is the riding onto the start podium prior to doing the prologue stage um everything looking nice and shiny kits all clean and boots are shining nicely it uh i don't know what mate is saying in the background probably taking the piss out of my fringe and terrible haircut but um that that was the least of my worries um it's kind of making me grin actually looking back and watching this it was uh a big part and almost a relief to be there at the start and have made made it. Uh, good, good. Yeah, I uh, actually enjoyed that more more than I thought I would. It was uh, I walked some of the stage yesterday, but I think I actually rode the section I didn't walk faster than the bit I did walk. So uh, yeah, that's good. Good to get that out of the way. And now is the you know well that that's the easy bit really. Now we have the the big part to to get stuck into. So a little few jobs to do on the bike, ready for tomorrow, and then. Um, rest I suppose while we can and, and get ready for what's coming right so I'm all done for the day pretty much but I'm just out watching the trucks and I have to say uh, the video does not do it justice we have to see those things that's like blown my mind. Mental. Mental. But I thought I'd come and have a look because it's the only opportunity really that I'll get to watch these in action. So, um, yeah. <laughs> wow. It is, uh, I don't even know what the day is, Saturday, 31st of December 2022 and um, tomorrow is the 1st of January 23 and the first stage of my Dakar adventure. So I just thought um, I'm pretty much done for the day now and ready, ready for I think I'm ready for what's coming. So just generally as well, so this is the 
in the rally world the paddock is called the, the bivouac and um, this little compound we're in here is kind of fenced off is is the Malay class the original uh, class sponsored by Motul which is really actually um, exceeded my expectations in their support and helpfulness I guess it's been uh, definitely makes life a little bit easier although we haven't started yet and I don't fully know how hard it's gonna get but um, been very good so far uh, with product and general help advice and uh, so on but uh, right I'll get to the bike and just show you where we're at and also my little setup up here what uh, what I'm working with and what I've got so this is a, a seat which is just broken already it's ready for the bin really but uh, I don't know why I haven't got rid of it yet. Tools, like the variation of stuff, I've got to yet sort out what I'm taking with me. So I've got a tool set up in the bike, but there's a few things here I need to add to that. The general stuff there, filters, ties and stickers, and spares and stuff. Um, but to the, so over to the bike. It's obviously a red Austrian machine. 450cc and you know there's plenty of videos that we can other videos online where you can um, get a full info on these okay I'm not sure if you can hear me too well but uh, it's just now the 31st actually New Year's Eve which seems crazy because I haven't even given a thought on the the time of year particularly I've been so tied up with everything that's going on but I'm just going now tomorrow today was the prologue and tomorrow is stage one so I've just taken my bike over to the refuel which they have here in the bivouac uh, to uh, to get fueled up fully for tomorrow but I also while I'm doing it I thought I would just give a perhaps a little tour at the paddock or the bivouac as it's called in the rally world of just how big this place is and it actually doesn't sleep there's just noise constantly all night long so obviously we have trucks and uh, side by side Somewhere up in front is the refuel which I can find. I think I can see it. So. You have to see this place to believe it. It's honestly massive. These trucks are something else. After watching these today. Well, refuel isn't here. There's the helicopters. It's got to be ten times the size of of the TT paddock. You could fit a whole race circuit complex, including the circuit, easily in the size of this bivouac. It's that big. I'm about to use two hands here. There's a bit going on.
we come to get the fuel for the next day so there's loads of other trucks and there'll probably be some bikes here also just need to make sure I get petrol 